Hey there guys, in today's video it is all things chain maintenance regarding the Triumph Trident 660. We're going to talk how to clean it, how to lube it, and how to check it for tension. So this is your one stop shop video for chain maintenance on the Triumph Trident 660. I will be referencing everything out of the handbook on page 101 of the owner's manual if you want to check. All the information is there, but most likely you clicked on this video because you don't want to have to look that up. So let's get right into it. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about some of the supplies that you'll need for this job. You don't really need much, but at a bare minimum, you will need a chain cleaner like this. You don't need this exact brand. I will list multiple options in the description so you guys can do some research and check it out on your own. But this is basically a degreaser. It really does well at getting the gunk and the junk off of your chain. You're going to need a brush. This is a pretty standard chain cleaning brush and then you'll need some chain wax or some chain lube. And lastly, some shop towels or shop rags, like this will do just fine. Okay, now before we move on here, I would like to give you guys a disclaimer from a story in my past. When I was little, one of the first memories I have of my brother is he cut his finger off doing this exact procedure. He was cleaning his chain in the driveway. I was just a young kid, about my son's age, and he somehow caught his finger right here between the chain and the sprocket. And I just remember he was screaming and his finger was dangling off just hanging by a piece of skin. Now that you heard that story, just know that this can be really dangerous and to be careful. Um, I recommend using a rear paddock stand like this. So this is the rear paddock stand I'm going to use, but on the Triumph Trident, there's no rear swing arm spools. So I purchased these from Evotech. Uh, you can get any rear swing arm spools that you want. I have the Evotech sliders, so I wanted it to match. But basically they just screw in there with the Allen wrench. And that allows you to use this rear paddock stand here and lift the rear tire off the ground. So now that we have the bike up on the rear stand, and we're in neutral, we can spin the tire here. And the first step is using the chain cleaner and we're just gonna liberally spray this all along the chain on both sides here as we spin it. I'm also going to spray it along the back side here. And I'm gonna hit it from over here on the top. Now all the directions are on the can. It says let it sit for about 60 seconds before you start scrubbing it with the brush. Okay, for the next step, we're gonna go ahead and use our chain brush. And you can notice there's, the brush has three sides. So we're gonna make sure that we apply pressure um, on each side for a couple rotations. I'll show you what I mean by that. So first I'm gonna, I'm gonna push pressure this way as I rotate. Now I'm gonna apply pressure this way as I rotate. Now cleaning the outside of the chain. And now I'm gonna apply pressure from the inside out, cleaning the inside of the chain. So that's what I mean, utilize all three sides of the brush for quite a few rotations. for a couple rotations pushing down. Not too hard, but just enough. And you can really see that junk is, is coming off my chain. So this thing was ready to be cleaned. Now for the next step, I'm gonna use a power washer. If you don't wanna use a power washer, that's okay. You can use a hose or even just take like a water bottle and drip it along your chain here. But I really like to use a power washer because it'll get the junk off and then it'll clean all the overspray from my spray that I got on there as well. And now you can see the chain actually looks silver again compared to the brownish black when we first started today's video. So I'm gonna just use a couple shop towels here 
and finish cleaning it and drying it. Remember, just be careful of your fingers. You don't want to put them under that sprocket there as you're turning that direction. We're doing most of the work from the back side here. And keep checking your towel. Mine's actually pretty clean. That power washer did most of the cleaning there, so keep checking the towel. So doing it with this disposable shop towel, I'm able to see that it's pretty clean. I don't really have any oil on that rag. So now I'm gonna use my microfiber towel and really just dry it off. And dry everything else while I'm at it. Now that we are clean and dry, we're going to do the same process with the chain lube as far as spraying some here and a little bit on the top back there. Um, you don't have to be as liberal with this. We're gonna do maybe two or three cycles through it and, and get this chain lubed up. And that's it. That is the clean and lube maintenance. It really is pretty easy. Just please be careful. The handbook recommends doing that every 200 miles. I'm not the best at keeping track of the exact distance. So I just do it every other time I fill up my gas tank. It's about hundred miles or so when I fill it up. So every two times I fill up my gas tank is 200 miles. That means it's time to clean and lube my chain. So that's a good way to do it. It's just an easy way to remember when it's due. Now let's talk about how to check the tension in your chain. Sometimes people experience clunky shifting or they might just have a ton of slack in their chain and it bothers them. I'll post in the description a really good link of a gentleman that is working on his wife's trident and he goes into great detail on how to adjust the tension if it's out of spec. For this video to keep it short and sweet, I'm gonna just show you how to check if yours is in spec. So the owner's manual says that it should be between 43 and 55 millimeters of slack. And this is how you check how much slack is in your chain. Okay, first you're gonna to wanna to find the section of your chain that is the tightest. So you're gonna spin your tire and push down from this position. You'll find it's a little bit looser in some areas, it's a little bit tighter. You wanna find the section that's the tightest. For me, it's most taunt right about here. Now you're going to note this concave right here, where it comes to the very bottom of this arm, that's where you're gonna measure from. Where this section comes down at its lowest point, that's where you're gonna start measuring. You're gonna measure from there to the center of your chain. Not the top, not the bottom. Where these little circles are in your chain, that's where you're gonna to measure to. And more specifically, you're gonna actually press down slightly. So I start here, the lowest portion, push down on my, and I see that right in the middle there, I'm at about 43 exactly when I push down. You don't have to push down too hard, but you wanna just slightly push down. I am at 43 exactly. So I would like to be a little bit on the tighter end of that, that range. So they give you 43 to 55. I like mine to be at 43. I feel like that's the smoothest for this bike. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Maintenance on this chain took me 30 minutes, but you know, I was setting down the camera and filming. It shouldn't take you more than 10, 15 minutes to get this job done. It's really important to continue to do this for the longevity of your chain. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. And one thing I wanna add at the end of all my motorcycle videos from here on out is a Bible verse. I'm getting the inspiration from SRK Cycles awesome YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to his, I don't know what you're doing watching my video right now. You should be going watching some of those, but he always puts a Bible verse in his videos. And I thought that was really cool. You know, especially we ride motorcycles, it's pretty dangerous. Um, you know, you never know what's going to happen. We're taking calculated risks, even when we're doing maintenance on our bike. So I just want everyone out there to be safe. And as usual, I'll remind you to get outside, stay hydrated and keep on moving. <laughs>